Welcome to this new playlist. In this playlist, I'll be talking about how we manage data in Grasshopper and what are the types of different data. You may have heard different things such as like branches, data trees, items, indices, like lists, all these kind of things. And in this series, I'll try to cover all. Of it. So I'll be using these two surfaces as a starting point, and then we'll try to come up with something creative towards the end of this playlist. So these two surfaces are going to be our starting point. So what is a data tree or what is a, how data is being structured in Brushup? So before we go into all those, let me take these two surfaces as my inputs here. So I say set multiple surfaces and then I can preview this off. In these two surfaces, if I grab a panel here, you would see that they are stored under the panel and they're stored as reference surface and reference surface. And you see it's listed under this guy here, zero, zero, and one. And if he, like, let's say, put a grid on these surfaces, we just wanted to cre create sort of a, uh, divide these surfaces with points. So, Automatic values are 10 by 10, so it's putting this. But let's say 2 and 3. What we are going to see is, I mean, we can increase this value as well. 3 by 3. But 2 by 3 is fine. So what this does, it basically divides it on U direction into 2 and V direction into 3. Like two points, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four. This number of points I'm saying. So if we grab a panel and connect it over here, then what we are going to see is a bit different. Because now we'll be seeing some coordinates of the points, right? But the structure is completely, almost completely changed, right? And what do we see here? This is what we call a data tree action. Data tree is basically created by Grasshopper components as a default kind of a, like, a, like a feature. And then it stores data underneath these data trees. And what we see here, we see some like numeric values here that we call lists, but we are going to be calling them something else. Uh, for now, we'll call them branches. However, let's take a closer look how they are being stored. So if I go under params and under util, I'll grab a um, prom viewer. This is a way that we can see or monitor what we have in our data tree or like in our the output of our component. And if we say data, draw a tree by right, right clicking it, we see a tree kind of a structure. So what this does, basically our surface component, it has two surfaces and each surface has three different, as you can see here, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three different branches underneath. And each branch has four different values or four different points, which is created by this guy, we count. So this one, as we see here, is a complete, like maybe a data tree. So we can grab a scribble or we can grab a panel maybe and then say data tree and maybe we can just increase the text, like I don't know, 50, bold, say OK. Okay, this is our data tree. And maybe we can change the color of this to red. So data tree is this. And underneath the data tree, the things that we are seeing is all these things, all these like 0, 0, 1 is a branch. Zero, sorry, 0, 0, 0 is a branch. 0, 0, 1 is a branch. 0, 0, 2 is another branch. Then we have 0, 1, 2, meaning this is another branch, but this branch 
is no longer belong into or doesn't belong to this surface it belongs to this surface that's why the path has changed this is by the way called the path okay so these names are being called path but all the things that we see here are lists or branches and underneath branches we have numeric values like indices of each and each and every value but we'll get to that in our next videos so if i put another surface here like regardless of how it looks okay i need to flip it really quickly and if i need to add this this time so if i right click to this and manage surface collection add one more surface and click ok you see now i have in total, I would have what? I would have 336 points underneath of nine different branches, and each branch has four points. And you see, my path has changed because not changed though. I had I had another path, meaning I had another surface. If I delete this, I will go back to normal. If I say multiple surface basically this and in the next video i'll go in detail for each and every each and every uh, aspect that i just covered in more detail so stay tuned for the next videos to cover more about the data trees or data structures data management overall